welcome to my channel if you are viewing for the first time please do well to subscribe to my channel all right today i'll be talking about edible vegetables and fruits for snails the kind of uh, fruit and vegetables you can feed your snail which can ensure the daily growth and development of snail okay like for baby snails the young green snails a newly ash snails I think it is important I make this video content known to every beginner and snail farmers out there which need to do this needful practice, which need to be knowledgeable about this important information to, to be practicing on a daily basis. When the snail is being hatched, it is necessary the young ashlings, the new ash snail is being fed uh, succulent food like um, watermelon the coco watermelon and cucumber i think uh, from the day one to up to a month and two months it is good to feed them with uh, succulent food like watermelon and cucumber because these are very soft something they can feed on that we eat their growth is very okay for the snails it's cool for the snails and when while you are feeding them this uh, watermelon and cucumber you ensure you slice out the fleshy parts and we need to know how to do those things so to ensure the snails well-being you slice the fleshy parts out of it and the hard part of the cucumber the hard part of the cucumber as you can see the hard part of the cucumber i think when you slice those parts those are the parts that is okay to feed the snails you can also feed them purple so soft purple is also okay probably when it's about two weeks you can also start engaging them with a um, soft purple it's okay for snails also i'm talking about the early stage the kind of feed you can introduce for them you can start feeding them Cucumba, watermelon, and purple. I think these are the right kind of feed. You can start feeding them. When you get to about two to three weeks, you can introduce purple. But from day one, from day one, it's either you are feeding them watermelon or cucumber. The hard parts. Don't please, don't give them the fleshy part because they, it can it can also, it can it can drain them. When you give them the fleshy part to eat, and you know the watermelon contains water. It's hundred percent water and the cucumber also. It's hundred percent water. It contains water, so do where to slice the hard part so that they can eat and eat. You can even wash it again and feed them. But when you give them the fleshy parts, by the process of eating, feeding on the on the water, the fleshy parts, the, the water can drown can drown the snails and it can result to death mortality, which should be avoided. Should be avoided. Such kind of practice should be avoided. So that's why I advise us to make use of the hard part of the watermelon or the cucumber to feed the snail so avoid the fleshy part which contains more water and also calcium is also important you can also give them calcium which we also encourage the the growth of the shell calcium is also important to introduce them with calcium to ensure the growth of the shell Probably when they are 10, a month old, a month, two months, you can introduce purple leaf and um, garbage. And then you can start feeding on it. You can also bring the hard purple, that's the unripe purple. You can also introduce unripe purple for them, tomato, and every other rich vegetables. Garbage is there, tomato is there. You can give them banana peas. You can, I think you can also give them uh, the potato peas. It's also a, it's also edible for snails growth and development. Potato peas is there. Potato peas, potato peas is there. Papa is there. Even the potato leaf, it's also there. Those are things, rich for snails which snake can feed on and 
maintain a good grow on the purple leaf. Snail love purple. It's either the purple leaf, the ripe on your unripe purple. Snail love purple so much. I think uh, one of the best food for snail is purple. Snail enjoy eating purple. It's one thing snail loves so much. As it's, it's mostly recommended as their first fruit for snails. Purple is rich for snails and is really edible and most recommended for snails. And mostly the unripe, the ripe, unripe purple, which is the unripe purple you can see. The unripe purple is best for snails. And when you feed them at night, you can wash it and also feed them the next day until it's about to perish. That is where you can, you can throw it away at the refuse bin. But when you feed them ripe purple, please do well to take it out the, the, the next morning when the sun rises, because it can when you leave it long in the pen it can it can mm. bring in some kind of uh, insect that can be harmful to the snail's head so you when you feed your snails you ensure you carry out proper hygienic practices the washing of the pen the cleaning of the pen after feeding you do do care carry out the cleaning of the pen very very important very very necessary you carry out a proper hygienic practices so these are important fruits these are rich fruits garbage watermelon that's a for when the snails have attained about two months you can introduce them with um, garbage potato leaf potato potato peas Tomato, yes, they can feed on tomatoes. Tomato is a rich one. It's a rich edible vegetable for for snails. Snails can also feed on carrots. Carrots, mm -hmm. you can slice it. Snails can also feed on carrots. Carrot is also a rich rich one for snails. Which snake can feed on. Carrot is a rich one. You can slice the carrot and the snake will definitely feed on the carrot. Papa is there. A potato peas, like I earlier said, is very rich for snails. So many, so many vegetable has there, which is rich, edible for snails growth and development. And also formulated feed is an also good for snails well-being. A formulated feed when we use, um, which is being prepared like more like um, farm feed for livestock animal. There's, there's also a formulation for snails also, which also encourages snails well-being. So it is important and imperative we know the right fit for snails because when you don't know the right fit for snails, it can affect the snails well-being. So all of what I listed is what is edible for snails from the day the snail is being hatched. Like I said, you feed them succulent fruit like uh, watermelon and cucumber watermelon and cucumber from the day one to about two months you can introduce leaf that's the purple leaf the add purple or ripe purple uh, potato peas and other rich vegetables you can introduce them when they are 10 over a month you can start feeding them with all of that garbage is also a rich one for snails when they're over a month you can start bringing in other forms of vegetables which can encourage snails growth so we should be mindful of what we feed our snails we should know the right feed which snails feed on and what should be avoided is the cooked food with salt content i've reiterated several times on my previous video that we should avoid feeding snails with any feed that contains salt cooked homemade food should be avoided we shouldn't feed our snails with homemade food that is prepared with salt, with salt with, which has a salt content bread should be avoided this we should know all of all this snails should be feed on bread should be avoided snails don't feed on snacks snails don't feed on bread snails don't feed on rice cooked food those are these are what should be avoided while we are practicing carrying out our snail farming we should avoid cooked food homemade food should be avoided but vegetables is a rich one, edible vegetables. And when you are feeding your snake, please, if you are getting it from the market, 
from uh, the market yes and most times i don't advise uh, snake farmers to to buy all of this fruit on daily basis you can look at for a marketplace where you can get the leftover watermelon that is being consumed the, mostly the hard part of it which is which is seen as a refuse because you can get the hard part of the the watermelon which you can use to feed your snails you can mm. feed your snails with the watermelon the leftover watermelon cover it's a good one which you can use to feed your snails the garbage are there in the market there are some piece, garbage pieces that is not uh, consumable those leftover can be also can use it to feed your snails snails can feed on it very well the the potato peas which we slice out before preparing the other part of it is we can also feed our snakes with potato peas you can see these are these are edible edible meal edible food which snakes can feed on and be growing on on daily basis when you do this when you carry out this procedure this process know the right food which the snake can feed and grow on daily basis you see your farm will be We'll be, we'll be making progress in your farm so it is important we know how to feed mm -hmm. snails the right feed for snails what to feed snails and what not to feed snails please like i said avoid salt content don't feed your snails with anything that has salt content salt is dangerous for snails well-being you don't feed your snails homemade food you don't feed your snails snack bread and every other flower products please it should be avoided and while you are feeding your snake ensure after feeding when it's the morning when it's the sunrise in the morning when you check out for the snakes because you snakes should be fed in the at the evening around the hour of um, 6 7 8 pm the best time to feed your snakes and the snakes will start feeding until when it gets to the morning and when, let me say 7 a.m. in the morning you can check for this you can you will see some leftover please do well to take those leftover out of the pen if this if the feed is not yet produced like a unripe purple which can serve almost four to five days you can wash them and feed drop it again this will definitely feed on it until it gets perished then you can throw it away please do well to wash your pen clean your pen take the leftover droppings in the morning when you do this your snails will be healthy your snails will be smart your snails will be strong and your snails will be growing on daily basis so do well to know the right feed for the snails and to carry out good managerial practices when you do this your snails will grow your snails will, will attain a good growth size and there will be progress in the farm so don't forget to carry out these practices if you have any question please do well to drop from the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting and enlightening video about snail farming we will be glad to teach you to inform you to educate you to tell you how snail farming is all about thank you for watching